Thank you for purchasing I'm On Internet Service. This video will show you how to self-install your new modem router. Before you begin the installation, verify the contents of the kit you received by matching components in the box with the picture diagram on the included card labeled Internet Self-Install Kit Components. To begin the installation, start by looking on the bottom of your new modem router and writing down the wireless network name and the pre-shared key printed on the label. Doing this first will make the installation easier if the location for your new modem router makes it difficult to read once cables are connected. Now, let's connect one end of the included coaxial cable to your new modem router and the other end to the cable outlet in your home. Next, connect the power cable to your power outlet. Wait while it connects. This can take up to five minutes. You will know it's done and active when the online indicator light turns solid. The Wi-Fi indicator will also show solid when it is active and available. Please note that the phone indicator light should be flashing green. It is appropriate for this indicator to be flashing. It shows you have power to the modem router. It does not mean that you have phone service. There are two separate Wi-Fi networks available on your new modem router. These are a 2.4 GHz and a 5 GHz network. The only difference between these is that the 5 GHz network has shorter range but gives you the fastest speeds, while the 2.4 GHz network is not quite as fast but has a better range. Imon recommends that you use the 2.4 GHz network for your cell phones and other devices that are farther away from the modem, and the 5 GHz network for desktops and devices that are closer to it. When the modem router is active, you can connect the Wi-Fi network to any of your devices, such as smartphones, tablets, desktop computers, laptops, etc. To do so, just go to the Wi-Fi settings on your device, select the Wi-Fi 2.4 GHz network, and enter the password, which is the pre-shared key, both of which you jotted down earlier. This will be a random series of 12 numbers. Congratulations! You should now be connected to the Wi-Fi network and Imon's high-speed internet. If you have any questions or issues, please contact us at support at imon.net. To change the network name and password, sign into the modem by opening a web browser on your connected device. We highly recommend Google Chrome. In the browser's URL bar, enter the number 192 dot one six eight dot zero dot one. You will arrive at an ARIS login web page. Enter admin for the username and then enter the 12 digit pre-shared key as the password. We will first set up the 5 gigahertz network. Under the home Wi-Fi network section, select the edit button next to the 5 gigahertz network. You will be directed to a different web page. Now, rename the wireless network on this page to your preferred name. Note, you must end your new network name with a dash 5G. As you can see in our example, we named our network Jones dash 5G. Now enter in a new password. It can be anything you like, but it needs to be at least eight characters and must be alphanumeric only. Enter the CAPTCHA at the bottom of the page and press save. Once the 5 GHz network changes have been saved, it will redirect you back to the previous page. Finally, we will set up the 2.4 GHz network, following all the steps we did with the 5 GHz network. The only difference is that you do not need to have any label behind your preferred network name, so our example is simply going to be known as Jones. You now can log into either network with your preferred credentials. If you wish to have Imon Customer Care update your network name and password, email Imon with your desired network name and password to support at imon.net. Normal business hours are 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. Monday through Friday, and you can expect the update to occur within two to four hours from contact.